In this video, we'll go over the process of setting up intrusion tracking for Simba Illuminati. With intrusion tracking, you can draw a virtual polygon from the camera view, and the camera will follow any object that gets in or gets out of the polygon. From our test, we found the intrusion tracking provides a more accurate rate of trigger comparing to line cross tracking. The first part of setup is the same as line cross tracking. Let's click configuration and select PTZ from the menu, and then choose Smart Tracking. Make sure it's enabled, and please also set up the tracking duration and sensitivity. By default, the duration time is 60 seconds. This means the camera will stop tracking after 60 seconds and go back to preset 50 until the next motion object is detected. Then let's go to Events and choose Smart Events. Go to Intrusion Detection, click Draw Area. Use your mouse to click and drag to change the shape of the polygon. Make a left click if you want to add an edge for the polygon, and double click when you are done. To set up sensitivity, please do so on your PTZ Smart Checking. We will remove all useless settings in the next firmware update. You can draw up to four different polygons as detection areas. Once you finish setting up detection zones, let's set preset 50, which is a special preset corresponds to the intrusion tracking. Then call the preset. You see on the upper left corner, there will be a prompt of intrusion tracking, meaning it has been activated. Now if you want to see the polygon at the live view page, you have to go to local and enable the rules. Let's see how it goes. And at the end of setup, don't forget to add preset 50 into park actions. This is necessary because this ensures that the camera always returns to the intrusion tracking mode after a set amount of time. 